Well, hey, how's it going, everybody? Larry here, and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Got it? Peace and love to each and every one of you. So, my friends, let's go back. We're going to do a little bit of old. And the way this pen is described is vintage Schaefer fountain pen. So, let's just look at this pen. Now, I've never seen one like this, and a special thank you to Gene, uh, my pen pal uh, friend who sent me this pen. So I am going to review it and uh, let her know my feelings and thoughts on it. But uh, she's never seen a Schaefer like this before. And to be honest, I've never seen one to be the clear demonstrator type before either. Very unique pen. And uh, what's fascinating is that little red dot on top of the finial. And it does have Schaefer on the clip. It has a nice clip there. It's a sturdy clip. Uh, it's a pull-off cap. And you've got like triple bands that are thin bands on top of one another there. And uh, the pin does post very nicely and securely. And when you go down the barrel, there's no uh, step-off at all whatsoever. You find another little... Uh, silver thin band at the bottom of the barrel there and you go to the grip section uh, kind of reminds me of a Lamy type section but it's, it's not as pronounced as Lamy uh, but it does have the sides on each side of the grip where you can position your fingers in very firmly and, and hold them in place and uh, help you give you a, maybe a better writing experience and then it does have shaper on the nib with the F for fine. It comes with a plastic fee. So, what else do we know about this pen? I'm going to set it right here, tell you a little bit more about it, then we'll do a writing sample, okay? So, they show it as a, or listed as a Schaefer, Venus Schaefer School fountain pen clear demonstrator okay and this is old new stock which means it's new but it's just been sitting on the shelf and has never been used so whoever got these pens you know is now selling them back in the day when you went to school maybe you remember these types of pens maybe you don't so uh now this pen, I believe was, uh, yes, vintage from 1980s, okay? And the material used on the pen, it's going to be stainless steel and plastic, as you see right there. Uh, it's really in nice condition. You may see it says a few little tiny marks or two on it but that's it and I really haven't seen any marks on the pen uh, so it uses the short ink cartridges which I have one in there and it's just about empty because I've been testing the pen to see what my thoughts are uh, And for the pin model, again, they call it school because this is what they used in school back in the 80s, I'm assuming. So you got a clear cap where you can see right through it. You can see the nib. And yes, there's some ink spots there, which I've been doing because I've been carrying this pin and putting it down, picking it up, putting pin cases, picking it up, taking it here and there. So that's what it looks like um, and it has a western fine point on it so it's tipped with a rhodium tip but a western fine point on it interesting and the filling mechanics on the paint is going to be a cartridge or a converter and how much ink does it hold they're saying 1.5 mils now I'm sure you all are thinking about, could this be an eyedropper? Possibly. 
just make sure there's no little tiny holes in it. I have not seen any, and I've been looking for a hole in there, and I was maybe thinking maybe right down here would be a little bitty tiny hole, but uh, no. No, I have not tested it. No, I have not put any water in it yet. Just haven't got around to it, to be honest with you. So, pin size, normal size, they claim. So, the pin weight cap is going to be 11.5 G's, and the pin weight, when the pin is uncapped, is 6.5 G's. There it is. And let's go ahead and remove the barrel. And there you have it. So the, uh, this is just a regular standard short cartridge. Fits in there real nice. If you have some silicone grease and you know that this barrel is not going to leak out, then you can do silicone grease in there, put your favorite drink in there, and go off with it. Uh, but it does not appear to have that little tiny hole on the inside. It just may work. Uh, so the pin length, as you see the pin here capped, is going to be 5.07 inches. And post it, the length's going to be 5.50 inches, 5.50 inches, okay? So, clear demo, Schaefer. Interesting pin. So what's your thoughts on the pin? Have you all ever seen a pin like this? To be, like I said previously, I've never seen a Schaefer clear demo before. This is the first for me. And that little red. Looks like a little red, uh, oh, not a section point, but it has on the ends there, push it down into the top of the cap. Could you call it a plug? Yeah, you can, and it's got grooves on that as well. And it's just been driving me crazy. So maybe if you push that plug out, for whatever reason you do that, you could probably I don't get the there's a maybe get the insert cap out. There's another little section in here, a cap right in here, so that way any ink that comes out will fall into this little cap. It's not going to get in the, the whole cap. So, this is the first time I've ever seen one like this. It's very interesting. So, uh you can find these on SD if you're interested. Uh, and you're just going to put in there Vintage Schaefer School Fountain Pen Clear Slash Demonstrator. And they run $12.99. At least this is where I found it. And that's is all the information I have but if you've ever seen one and you know more interesting facts about this pen leave it on the comment below you know I'm, I'm really interested in certain vintage pens I, I'm not a big vintage freak but Schaefer and Parker Estabrook uh, Weaver, wherever. Wherever. Wherever, mm -hmm. yeah. And I think there's one called Weaver. There's a Weaver pin as well. I think I have one in the drawer. Uh, certain pins I, I, I do have an interest in, in them. Uh, and this is one of them. So why on certain pins? Well, because 
I can identify with certain vintage pens because I went to school and I was able to use certain ones like the Schaefer or the Parker for sure. Uh, there were pens that I actually use and remember and it just brings back some really cool memories. So uh, let's get to writing with it, okay? And I'm using, a, like I said, a regular short cartridge in it and uh, let's see. Reynolds, and this is, let's just click on these, okay, well here we go, let's see how she handles. little swirl there and we'll try some reverse And fast writing. A little wet test here. It does put down the ink and it has a little wetness to it. Not real wet, but enough. It's a nice little pen. Down stroke, cross stroke. No pressure at all. All day long. And just a little bit of pressure. And you can get a little different variation and that's about as far as I'm going to push it right there that's with pressure no pressure nice little pen so yeah it's kind of cool I think what I'll do later my friends is probably uh first of all, I'm going to check it out to see if it's able to be an eyedropper I'm going to put some water in there first and check that out real good and uh then I'll come back and I'll show you or let you know rather if it can be an eyedropper and then later my curiosity is going to say remove that red plug if I can and we'll see what it does uh, I want to see how all the mechanics work in it kind of uh, and you know being the 1980s wow okay uh, 10, 20, what, 40 years old? Uh, some will say it's not a vintage because it's not old enough. Some will say it is a vintage. So, again, leave your comments. Do you think this is a vintage being 1980s? Or if not, how many years would it take for a pen to be called a vintage? Okay. Because I've heard so many different opinions. So that's going to do it, my friends. Hey, thank you for joining me today on Larry's Fountain Pins Review. And I hope you found this interesting. I know I have. And a special thank you to Gene for sending me this pen. Very cool. Very awesome. On to my next show. Be safe out there and be kind to a stranger. A lot of peace and a lot of love to each and every one of y'all. And as always, my friend, don't text and drive. Later.